Hello, today I'm going to talk to you about the CMU 200 or the CRTU RU Roden Schwartz analyzers. Specifically, we, what we want to do today is we want to show you how to calibrate your measurements for any cable loss. Let's just have a look at my setup. I have two analyzers here. I'm using a 200 watt attenuator. It's approximately 20 dB. It then goes into a power combiner splitter, a two port power combiner splitter. One port going to the CRTU and the other port goes into my Aeroflex 7100. I use the CRTU for synad and power measurements, RF generation up to 2.7 gigs. For anything higher than 7 gigs, up to 6 gigs, I use the 7100. It's also good for adjacent channel power. So what I want to do is I want to explain that when you set 0 dBm on the generator of the uh, CRTU, it's guaranteeing 0 dBm at the, up, at the port that you use for output. When you measure power, it's guaranteeing that, well, what it reads is that power at the port. It doesn't take into it, by default, it doesn't take into account any cable losses. So today we're going to show you how to calibrate these cable losses. Now you need to do this for every different frequency that you use. Um, okay. So on our analyzer, we're going to select analyzer generator and we're presented with the analyzer generator screen. We will, what we're going to do is we're going to output 0 dBm at this port here, RF3, which is the high power port, um, and we're going to read from my splitter comes into RF3, we're going to read the value on RF3. The difference between the value will be the amount of attenuation of my external cabling and attenuators and mixers. Okay, so first we start by turning the analyzer on, uh, and then we will go to connect control. We will make sure that our transmit output is on the high power output port, RF3, and we will make sure that our RF input is on the input port. Now we also need to make sure that there's no existing attenuation here and there's no existing attenuation there. If there is, we would just go to press the attenuate the appropriate attenuation key, press enter, a zero, and then enter. And that will zero it out. We press connect control again to bring us back to our analyzer screen. Now we have to make sure the frequency of what we are testing at is correct for both analyzer and generator. So in the analyzer settings, we will go down to frequency and we will test at 400 megahertz. You can also, the bandwidth is also important, so we will make sure it is not too wide so that our reading is accurate because we're only putting out a, pretty much a carrier wave. There's no modulation, so we can bring this right down to um, 10 hertz. Uh, on the generator screen, sorry, we'll press the generator button to bring the generator up. We will make sure again our frequency is set to 400 megahertz and that we have no modulation. Uh, we will go to the RF control and before we turn it on we will plug in our cable from our output port which will be 3 to our input port which is via the, just make sure everything's nice and tight, via the attenuator which is up there to the splitter back through to the port. Okay we're all set to go. So now we are make sure that this is highlighted and we will turn it on. Okay, we can see that that red has changed to green. So we are now outputting 0 dB in. And we can see that the actual value that we're reading on the port is now on average 23.7. Okay, so we need to zero that out so that reads zero. So we go to connect control we go to the port and we go 23 into the external attenuation input 23 3.7 enter and we'll press connect control again and we should see that we are now 
pretty much zero dBm. We're outputting zero dBm, as it says there, that's what we're outputting, and we're reading pretty much zero dBm. Now, the higher the frequency you go, the more you will find that playing around with your cable and moving the cable and your hand around the cable will affect the measurements. Just that little bit of movement, you can see has moved it. Now, if I hold the camera on here and I'll move the cable around a bit, and you can see how much it moves it. Of course, it will pretty much show up instantly any dirty connections that you have on there. All right, well, now I can go ahead. Um, we'll turn the analyzer off, the generator off. Um, now I know that anything I plug into here will be correctly read up here. The, the power level. Also, that anything I output at that, at this point here, is zero dBm. All right, that's all for now. That's how I, um, I mean, I'm, that's how I set up the CRTU for uh, RF power measurements and zero out the cable loss. Cheers.